Hey guys, so today what we're gonna do is the highly requested, super exciting makeup collection. So we're gonna go through this tower over here that I've uh, showed you in my room tour, and then I'm also gonna go through everything that I use on my daily basis, just so you can get an idea of what I use every day and versus what I use from time to time. So yeah, let's just get this started and I'm gonna take you right over to my makeup tower and we're gonna go right through that super fast. All right, so this is the Alex from Ikea. Uh, this is the nine drawer version. So we have the four big drawers and then we got the small drawers up top. Um, and I'm gonna go through this with you. So the first thing is we're gonna start off with the top drawers. The top drawers are, oh hi, how are you? The top drawers are going to be tons of stuff. So we have all of my pigments here. Um, I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I want to put a little like sticker on the top of each one um, so I know which one it is because with all of them in there like that, I can't really see them. Um, so I have to pull them all out whenever I want to find a specific one. But I got all my MAC pigments up front and then some of the older, bigger pigments that I've still not run out of. And then in the very, very back, I got like sugar pill and some samples and uh, makeup store ones and f all that fun junk on this side. The center little console is going to be mineralized eyeshadows, mostly. Some cream color bases and such as well. Just the the medium sized eyeshadow um, container through here. Uh, by the way, I got all of these little boxes from the container store. I got these when they were having this sale, so they were all like e either like a dollar ninety nine or like ninety nine cents, which is fantastic because normally they're like three to five dollars, and that's just ridiculous when you're trying to fill up the whole entire chest. The next one is going to be some of my like palettes and trinkets and things. Um, mostly just palette eyeshadows. When we get up front, we have a couple singular eyeshadows that I haven't depotted yet or don't want to. And then some of the uh, chromographic li uh, chromoline paint pot type things, extra paint pots, regular eyeshadows and another paint pot. You know, the huge that people have. The next is going to be lips. Um, so I have all the MAC lipsticks separated into their own little cubby. Um, sort of organized by color, sort of not. Um, but mostly, mostly all MAC stuff through here. One little casual color back there. And lip glosses sort of sorted by like nude and pink and like cream sheen and dazzle glass by regular old lip glass and flush glass sort of then we're going to go into powders and blushes so through here we have bronzers and um mineralized and uh, an extreme or extra dimension powders um, we have some old school Studio Mist. We have a Studio Mist blush and a Studio Mist bronzer, which is super fun. Those are awesome. I wish that they still carried it. And then old school blush from the Feminist Villains collection. This is literally one of my favorite um, colors ever. Let's not break something in this video. How about that? So anyway, this is one of my favorite blushes ever. I really wish that they will come back out with it someday because it's perfect for my skin tone. It's sort of like Desert Rose, just more mauve and taupey, less coral and pink, but it's just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, what else do we have in here? Some CC color correcting, yellow and pink, and then some luster drops, which I hardly ever use, but they're gorge. Next drawer is going to be extra MAC lip pencils and eyeliners and just stuff. Um, a pin from the Archie Girls. Then we have the, uh, you know, the mirror from Feminist Villains. We have some mixing medium. This one's the water-based one. 
a brush that I haven't opened yet, and then extra mascaras and brow pencil, uh, brow mascara, things like that that uh, are always good to have on hand. A lonely little pencil sharpener in the back. Moving down. We're gonna have my three little lonely extra palettes because the rest of my palettes are uh, in my kit. Um, so we have like my purple, this one we'll do next, is going to be like my extra blushes and then the Love Plus from Sugar Pill. I absolutely love that color. I wish there was more reason for me to wear it around, but it's just bright red and kind of hard to pull off every day. The next one is going to be greens and kind of pinks and then obviously like oranges and yellows. And then the last one is going to be blues and then just some sporadic extra colors that uh, I didn't quite know where to put, so I just threw them in there. Hopefully this drawer will be full of palettes one day, but not yet. Going down to the big drawer is going to be uh, extra foundations. Um, foundations that normally I would keep in my kit, but I've sort of condensed my kit so I don't need as many foundations. I mostly use concealers or just uh, sample out Foundations, so I don't have to carry the full bottle because it gets heavy. Um, extra primer, uh, natural radiance primer, tinted moisturizer, which is like my winter color, uh, face and body, trinkets. Going down is going to be miscellaneous lip products. So we have red glosses and trinkets and then kind of mauve pinks and nudes just from every brand uh, like there's Givenchy and NARS and uh, some Bare Minerals and Hourglass and you name it it's probably in here some Makeup Forever lipsticks like the bright orange one and the nude and oh you know a black one because you can never have enough um, gel eyeliners Jumbo, pencils, this is my favorite glitter glue, um, I got this a long ass time ago, I should probably throw it away, but, focus, but it's called LA Splash, and they don't sell this in, um, Ulta anymore, so I don't know where to get it, I tried it buying online, but it seems so sketchy, because I don't have, like, they don't have a true website for their own brand, so you have to buy it through other people, and it just seems so weird, so I just haven't purchased it again. This bottom drawer is going to be other miscellaneous stuff, so, Makeup Forever eyeshadows, the Naked Basics, and then a couple NARS shadow palettes, this one is, um, the Andy Warhol one, which is gorgeous, but I never have really had a chance to wear it because you can see all that glitter maybe it'll focus but yeah all that glitter it's just hard to wear these colors that blush is a gorgeous color except that silver glitter just ruins it but it's amazing I that's why I keep it around obviously but you know there will be a day there will be a day for those things all of my Inglot shadows, tons of them, I kind of showed you some of those before. Makeup store before they closed, and then the Sense Eyes from Makeup Forever, which is gorgeous. Well, not really gorgeous, but it does an amazing job. If you have super sensitive eyes or you're a contact wearer, that is an amazing um, way to get off your makeup. So the last drawer in this guy is going to be kind of where I keep extra product and extra things. Um, so I have my backup Fix Pluses in here, so I got three of those, and then Prep and Prime Highlighter and Natural Radiance, because I use this guy every day. A uh, little bit of Volcanic Ash Exfoliator, because it keeps going in and out of stock like no one's business, so while it was in stock, I picks, picked up an extra one. And then I have um, a wallet, Brush roll, extra bags, uh, makeup bag from Holiday Collection. In this old Beats box is my airbrush and a couple special effects makeup-y things in there. And then we got some limited brushes, so like the 180, which was old time, old school brush. Then we got the big one, the big body brush, the 179, which is amazing. Um, super good for contouring if you want to use just the edge. And then, I loved this brush. I wish I got more of them, but it's like the angled contour duo fiber. So you can use it with like liquids and powders and buff that into your skin. And then this one, I love this brush. I just don't want to use it as much because it's 
crazy expensive and it's harder to clean and I want to keep it nice as possible. And you know, I'm just a collector, I want to keep it. So that's going to be the 182. They still sell this brush, so that one's not limited, but you know, it's $53. I'm not, I'm not about to destroy that brush. And then, last thing is the mirror. This is the mirror that I always use up on my desk when I film YouTube videos. So it's just up top. It's super cool, I think. You can see my, my uh, little light box mm. going on, but that is everything about my tower of makeup. All right, so I moved this out onto my desk, um, and I normally keep this in the closet in my bathroom. Uh, this is what I use to get ready every morning. These are all of the like essential products that basically are my favorites that I keep on hand close by just because they're my faves, you know. So, um, basically, let me run through this super fast. So, I have this random cup in here. It has a little like elephant on there somewhere that's like spraying water out of its trunk. But I keep all of my pencils and extra mascaras, brow products, lip conditioner, eye primer, all those trinkets in here just so that they kind of stay in one spot because I would rather have them not spread around. And then this back little wall is going to be primer. So I have uh, strobe cream and natural radiance and then I have my foundation. So I have studio fix fluid when I want crazy full coverage, crazy crazy matte. Mineralized when I want to have something a little bit more dewy, a little bit more believable, but still good coverage. Makeup Forever is my go-to pretty much every day just because it's freaking the best. I love the way it looks on my skin. And then the last one is going to be face and body when I want something that's like a tinted moisturizer. Just I feel like face and body is better than a tinted moisturizer because it looks fantastic. It's easy to apply and it's something that you can throw on without really having to think about anything. Next, I have a pair of 34, 36s. 36s are gorgeous. They're, maybe it'll focus, maybe it won't. But yeah, so they're angle cut, so they go from shorter to longer. These are very, very natural. They're almost the same size as my natural lashes, so if I was doing something more dramatic and I wanted to wear lashes, I have them on hand. Then we have some blushes and things. So we have the sculpting cream in Coffee Walnut. This is gorgeous. I've used it before in a video. It has a weird green undertone to it, but that, when you're done blending it out, is absolutely amazing. A couple different blushes. Prism is amazing. I use it all the time. Um, Prism or what else would I use? Harmony, obviously, because I just used that in my contouring video. I would keep in here. Um, Mocha, I would probably keep in here. Uh, See Me Hear Me came out with Alluring Aquatics. It's pretty... Dirty Blonde is brows. If I want a very, very dramatic brow, it's the uh, Fluid Line brow. Then we move on to this corner. We're gonna have all of my concealers here. So we have the full coverage for Makeup Forever. We have the moisture covers. I have two different colors, the NW15 and the NW20. Just depending on where I want to uh, conceal slash highlight. And then we have the full coverage stick in NW47. I use that from time to time when I want something more dramatic. An extra concealer because I'm running out of my NW20 because I use it all the time. Then we have some studio finish concealers for that full coverage, crazy beat down look. Uh, NARS palette, this one is the NARS Pandora. This is my fave because it's the best black in the world. Maybe I can open it with one hand, maybe not. But yeah, so the best black ever is in there. Studio Fix powder, we have that guy in NW15 and NW20, just depending on if I'm highlighting or concealing or powdering or whatever I'm doing. We have the mineralized in light and the mineralized in medium. And then we have all of my skin finishes that are shimmery. So we have that guy, which is called Superb, which is limited. And then we have Light Scapade, which I use all the time for my cheekbones. And then Soft and Gentle, which I use a little bit less now because of uh, Light Scapade, but still absolutely gorgeous to set your cheekbones. Then we have bronzers. So we have um, this new Care Blend, and that one is in dark. Then we have the bronzer powder in matte bronze, which is the same thing that I used in my contour video that broke, but I'm believing, yeah, I found an extra one. So no worries, I got an extra. I just don't want to break that one. 
And then Refined Golden, which is absolutely gorgeous. This isn't from like limited packaging, but it's gorge with a little bit of shimmer in there, kind of hiding away. But that is everything that I keep in my makeup stash that's in my bathroom. Um, so just depending on my feeling, I choose a different foundation and all that fun stuff just to get ready in the morning. All right, so that is everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad that I got a chance to go through all of my makeup with you. I want you to comment below and tell me what your favorite makeup product is so I can go check them out. Um, I'm all about checking out new stuff. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and I will see all of you again next week. Thank you. Bye. So I like to put it through and then just use a spoolie or um, if you didn't want to go buy a spoolie, you could buy like just a cheap toothbrush.